Great, so this is question 176 called second high salary. We're given a employee table with two columns, the ID and the salary. And all we wanna do is look at this table and return the second highest salary. You know, so in this case of you know, three employee salaries, we would wanna return 200. And the only other caveat is that you know, if our query returns you know, zero results, so that would only be if our employee table you know, has you know, one row, it's a one row database. So there would be no second highest salary. So instead of returning zero results, we want to return null here. So I'll show you two ways to do that. The first way is we would select the salary from our employee table, and we would want to order them by salary descending. And so what this will do is we'll do you know, 300, 200, 100, so the salaries rank from highest to lowest. And because we only want to return one result, we'll limit our output to one. And then because you know, it's going from 300, 200, 100, and we're returning the first row, what we really want to do is return the second row, so it's the, the second highest value because it's going from highest to lowest. We would add an offset of one here, right? And so then we would wrap this in a if null clause. And so this is kind of the second part of the question where because we want to return null rather than just zero results, this is going to check whether this query that we have here um, you know, is returning zero results or no results. And so instead of returning that, we can actually pass. So if this is returning no results, then return null, right? And so it's just a bit of a, a check there. You know, we could instead say, you know, there is no results and I'll put that instead but the question wants us to return null. Great, and because this is in a query, we'll actually just wrap it around in a temporary table. So we'll select this and, and set it as our alias that we need. Great, so if we go ahead and submit that, I think there's an error and I see it now. So we actually have to add a distinct here and so what this allows us to do is that, you know, say if we're giving multiple employees with the same salary, we don't return, you know, say if there's 300 and the employee number four also has 300, you know, we don't want to return a 300 as a result, we want to return 200. So we're just adding that distinct there. So we go ahead and submit that and success. So the second way to do this is by grabbing the maximum salary, right, from the employee table. And we'll name this our alias. And the trick here is we're gonna add, add an where clause and with a subquery that's actually identical to our main query. And so what this is gonna do is you need to remember that the where clause is executed before you know the outer clause. And so it's gonna go in and grab the maximum salary, which will be 300, and then it'll execute the outer query, which will grab the maximum salary, which would be 300. So what we wanna do is that when it's executing the outer query for you know the query for the second time, we wanna exclude you know, the maximum salary from the first query. So where the salary is not in our subquery. So this would return, in this case, 300. And we want to exclude the number 300. And so that would then return these. And it would look at that and say, okay, the maximum is 200. You know, you could also do, you know, where salary is less than our where clause or our subquery here, but I kind of think not in looks better. So if we go ahead and submit that. Oh, we just have a runtime error. As second high salary from employee. 
Oh, it's because I still have that ass there. Great, if we rerun that. Great, and uh, success. So I hope that helped, and good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Thanks. Have a great day.